Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturks. Welcome to the Outer Wilds, Echoes of the Eye. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to say that. I've had to play the entire game, the entire base game in its entirety to get to this point. We haven't finished the base game. So if you haven't watched the base game series, I'd recommend going and watching that first. You can just see that there. We've done everything except the finale, so I don't know what's going to happen there. I haven't seen the end of the game, and I've done that on purpose. For me, I feel like when we finish Outer Wilds in its entirety, I want to do the original ending. For me, it feels right. In the meantime, though, you've got this entire new series to look forward to. I'm going to be doing the entirety of Echoes of the Eye. We're going to treat it the same that we would in the base game. I don't know what to expect. I know where we need to start, and we have been there um, in the, the base game series. We had a quick look round, but I'm going to go in with a fresh pair of eyes. And we're going to go on this journey together. You and me. That was the one around. You and me. Me and you. There we go. I can point. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for the love that the base game series got. It's incredible. I'm so happy with it. I'm thrilled with the progress. You can see the progress. Episode 1, I'm actually not that happy with episode 1. If I could, I would go back in time and change it. I would re-edit it. I would remaster it. But I can't. And that's kind of the beauty of this game. You know, it's one of the things this game has taught me. It's okay to learn. It's okay to improve. It's okay to get better. So by the time... So we get around to Swan Song, episode 30. I have learned so much, and I'm going to take that into this series. So by the end of this one, who knows what it will be. But that's enough talking. Let's get into this. So first things first, we're going to go to the museum. Okay, that's apparently, from what I've been told, that's where this whole thing starts off. This is where we should start our adventure. The game is quite cryptic. I don't know if you've noticed that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Have you noticed that? It's not going to tell us things in its entirety. We're going to have to do a little bit of problem solving. But I know from the comments and I know from when we first found it. First step. Museum. We're going to go to the museum. I'm quite looking forward to seeing what this is about. Because I have next to no idea. People have suggested it's a bit spooky. Which is fine by me. I quite enjoy horror games. And after this, no doubt, you'll... Shh. After this, no doubt, you'll see me play a few horror games here and there. Because I do enjoy them. And I think horror games as a whole tend to have quite good stories. I don't know how I'm going to feel about it being a horror game in Outer Wilds. Because apart from the Bramble, I think that the game does quite a good job at making you feel quite content, quite wholesome, quite happy. Even amongst the bits that are quite sad. Even among the things that make me feel things. So, we've got a new exhibit. Which is about the, the deep space satellite, I believe. The radio tower here on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite. And to this day, still houses the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. These photos were made possible by the Deep Space Satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the plane of the solar system. Thanks to a recent upgrade, the Deep Space Satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. That's me. And you. So, because it goes vertically, we can actually get above the solar system. Which would be quite cool for me. I like photography. And the people have suggested trying to get a photo like that for quite some time. And this might be a good excuse to try to do that. Because everything else spins on a disc, which I thought was a bit unusual. But apparently, astrophysics says that's normal. It's more unusual for things to have different orbits, unless it's done so, you know, on purpose. Things tend to fall into like a kind of a disc kind of shape. Which I wouldn't know. I'm not an astrophysicist. I'm just a dude. I'm just a fella who really likes stories. Who really likes to make people cry. I'm sorry for Swan Song. 
I'm not really sorry, but for those of you who have seen Swan Song, I am sorry. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. But for now, we're having a happy time. We're having a good time. <gasps> who put you there? And do you light up when it gets dark? I'm going to guess you light up when it gets dark. God damn, I've missed this game. I have missed this game so much. What? I'm gonna have to have a look back there sometime. There's something behind there. Remind me. Next next time we have a bit of a smell the pines episode. Remind me to go have a look at that. I'm just admiring the music again. It feels like it's been so long since I've had the Timber Hearth theme. I'm guessing that's what it's called. It's Timber Hearthy. So, the next logical step to me, we're going to go have a bit of a smile at everything. Uh, and we're going to go to the radio tower, which is in a direction. I can't remember which direction. Not that one. That's the mountains. It's not in the mountain direction. It's in another one. Words. It's not in that one either. Oh, we're finding everything other than it. Look at the twins. Damn, twins. You're looking good today. I want to fly up, but I don't want to fly too far up because I have been twatted by the Atoll Rock on occasion. Ah, here we go. So, let's see what we missed last time. Because, like, like I said, we've been here in my previous playlist, in, in the previous series. I'm going to pop this on in case I need to do any parkour. And because it makes me feel safe. This is kind of like my... Like, you know when people... Okay. Radio tower. Cool. See, I wouldn't have noticed that if you guys didn't nag at me incessantly for 20 episodes about using my signal scope more. Cool. Right, let's have a look. Despite my checking on them at least a thousand times over, the images are still not ready to print over in the radio tower. Well, it's like they say, a watch satellite never transmits data. <laughs> Just a little joke for you, Journal. No one says that. Someday I'll have to study the mechanics of how time manages to slow a syrupy crawl whenever I'm anticipating something. In the meantime, I've turned to Gabro, a resident expert in leisurely whiling away the arrows, who recommends the following. Gabro's three foolproof steps for dozing off. Light a nice, cosy campfire, get comfortable. Gaze deeply into the serene warmth. Let time begin to slip away as you allow the flames to lull you into a peaceful slumber. If Gabbro knew I'd taken notes, I'd probably think I'd find it cracked, but I refuse to accept sass from an astronaut who deliberately burns their marshmallows. They deliberately burn the marshmallows? So this is, I'm guessing then, the doze, is the doze off mechanic new to this DLC then? I don't think we've ever actually used this. Oh! So it's a bit like meditating, but it doesn't just get me killed instantly. Which is fine. I'm fine with that. That's a big old stick. What's that hook? Oh, is that like a lighting hook? Is that a Harthian spork? That's a Harthian spork with a bottle opener and a can opener. And... I demand one of these. I need one of these in my life. Imagine having friends over and they go in your cutlery drawer in the kitchen. And you've just got a handful of those bad boys. Oh my god. Is that the first time I've seen one of those? Surely I should have seen some of those at other places, at other campfires, right? And another one! <gasps> and this one's got a carabiner! 
I am a bit of a bit of a uh, bit of a fella for carabiners. Oh, this is sound right. This is gonna sound weird, but after seeing the rest of the set design in the game so far, you can actually kind of tell this is newer. I can't quite put my finger on it, but just something feels different about this. I feel like maybe it's because it's all new models that we've not really seen before. Other than the Jumbo Marshmallows, but that's a different story. Okay then, so. And we're recording. <clears throat> it's been two days since the launch of the Deep Space Satellite, and I'm about to view the first batch of photos. Let the record show that on this historic day, Outer Wild Ventures has... Ha! Huh, they're printing. They're printing! Here they come! Stars above, will you look at that? That's... That's Brittle Hollow. And look, look there, that's Hollow's Lantern, and there's Giant's Deep, and, and the Quantum Moon. I'm speechless. Completely speechless. Every single astral body in our magnificent solar system looking stunning from every angle in each of these three images, and in colour, no less. Now this, this is art. I could stare at these photos forever. Doesn't Timber Hearth just look tiny from... Hold on, what what is that? That can't be right. That's I mean that's not even possible. Am I interpreting this photo correctly? What's even stranger is it doesn't show up in either of the other photos, just this one. Well, it must be an equipment malfunction, I suppose. Only sensible explanation for it. I'll radio Gabro and ask him to go examine the satellite's lens for defects. Okay, so I did look at this last time. But I don't know if I... <laughs> Hi, Gabbro. I don't know if I maybe was looking... Excited. So we're looking for something that's out of place, right? And I feel like now we're maybe a bit more qualified to look at these photos. I think last time I didn't know the system well enough. So this one, let's, let's have a look. So we've got the Bramble, Giant Steep, Brittle Hollow, Timber Hearth. That's the Atoll Rock, and that's the Quantum Moon. I think last time I thought that was wrong. That's not actually, that's just, that's the Quantum Moon and that's the Atoll Rock. I don't think I'd realised the Quantum Moon existed in the last one. We've got the Twins. And we've got the Interloper. So that one, that one's like, oh my god, they've even got different ink cartridges. And of course the black <laughs> The blacks ran out. <laughs> Printers always run out of black ink. Mobius games, I take my hat off. I think that's the funniest thing you've done. Oh, okay, so. Um, giant steep with the quantum moon this time. Twins. That must be Timber Hearth, Brittle Hollow, Interloper, Bramble. What's this about degrees? I'm not very good at degrees. Uh, oh well, that was obvious. Did I not see that last time? Did I think that was okay? That's really, that's really obvious. This is above the solar system. There shouldn't be a planet above the solar system. Look, we've got Giant Steep, Timber Hearth, Brittle Hollow, Bramble, Twins, Quantum Moon, Interloper. What are you? What are you? So... I feel like it's trying to tell me something with a satellite angle, but I am... pretty thick. So I can actually go and say hello to this, can I? 
Because I know uh, Gabro suggested that we go and have a look at it. Oh, can I not go there now? Maybe we go say hello to Gabro again and ask their opinion? Just having another look around. Admiring a bit of world building while I'm here. Ooh. Right, let's go see Gabro. See if Gabro can shed some light on that. Because. I mean, it's 360 degrees in a circle. So I'm guessing it depends on where it starts its rotation maybe but i don't know where i don't know where zero degrees is in relation to this this doesn't correlate zero degrees could be anywhere on that circle and it captured it at what was it like 40 something could be anywhere I mean, if I right, if I just look at the sun, I am just right. You might think this is stupid, especially if you guys know how to do the DLC. But I have been incredibly blind beforehand when something's just kind of been there. Well, there's a satellite in the red. Do we need to go see Gabro? I can just click on it and I can just... Where were you? I saw you blinking. Let's let's go have a look first because I, I think all Gabro said last time we went to speak. So you can go and talk to Gabro if you don't know. And I'm pretty sure all Gabro really said was that we can go take a look sometime. We can go say hello to this thing. So I don't think there's going to be much point in going to see Gabro again. I could be wrong. If I'm stumped still after we've been and had a look, we'll go and do that. You're very red. You're giving me flashbacks to the Dark Bramble. And I'm not a fan of that. I don't like the Dark Bramble one bit. Hello, buddy. It's a bit like if... Imagine if you could go see... Like, I don't know, like Voyager or something like that. So we are synced up to this thing. You are smaller than I was expecting. But to be fair, I don't think there's that many. Oh, okay. So we're way too late. We're massively too late. Oh my god, it's got its own gravity. Oh, hang on, Gabro. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to come back. <laughs> right. Let's get close to this. Let's do that. Right. Gabro here, checking in on the Deep Space Satellite per ground control's request to check out a possible equipment problem. See, horn fouls, I do to work. I do to work. I do work too. I work. You know, I wouldn't mind being a satellite. It's peaceful out here. I'm under the distant stars in the soft velvety darkness, but it's oh, awfully nice for naps too. Oh, right, the lens. All right, little satellite. Let's see what the triple is. Eh, everything looks a okay. Ground control, no dust or scratches on the lens, and no evidence of sparking or violent explosions. Guess that rules out an equipment mal malfunction after all. Hear that, pal? You're in great shape. Keep up the good work out here. I love that bro. Uh, right, got the deep space satellite. So, my guess, right, is we're going to have to come here when that's saying 40. Which means we're massively too late. 
and I'm going to have to start again. Why is it never simple? Why is it never simple? Why can't I just... I mean, it's a nice view. I think we're just on the wrong side of things. It's only really just struck me how big the sun gets. Like, I know that the sun station gets, you know, enveloped. Spoiler alert! Also, you know, um, I feel like I forget how big red giants can be. Like, just look at that bad boy. It's massive now. And instantly the music hits. One thing I'm going to do while we've got time, while I'm killing time, right? I don't think there's anything on Hollow's Lantern, but essentially for those who haven't maybe seen the whole of the, the base gameplay and aren't interested in the base gameplay, I've seen everything other than Hollow's Lantern. And as far as I'm aware, Hollow's Lantern is just a magmatic hellscape. But I never know unless I go and try. You know, there's... I can fly to it. Oh my god, is it already the end of the loop? Is that what's that? That is. How are we already at the end of a loop? I feel like I've done nothing. Well, I guess we don't have to wait very long to start over again. Oh. You are very hot. There isn't really even anywhere else to land, but I feel like I need to at least try and land here once. Just so I can say I've set foot on it. Ta-da! I made it. <laughs> I made it. And I'm just smiling like an idiot. There are so few games, there's so few where I feel like you get this kind of feeling. I'll admit. Oh, hell no! No! I wish I never came here now! Rock on, brother! Is that why you guys told me to go there? That's cruel if it was. You know how much I love the Nomai. I did like the the Brittle Hollow kind of atmospheric effects from the Supernova. I've never noticed that before. I think because every time we've been there, we've been like, getting my slippers off. It's too warm in here. I feel like every time we've been on or near the Hollow, we've been on the Hollow. So we've never had the chance to actually see those atmospheric effects, which I think is quite cool. Right, so. Let's get a bit of a jimmy on and we need to keep an eye out for old mick red blinky face where is old red mick blinky face at the moment cool and then we can see what this spec is it's weird though, because there isn't anything for it, I don't think, on the rumor map. For like the, the physical location map, as far as I could tell. While you're doing that ship, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Yeah, it's far 
as I know. There's nothing there. Nothing that I can see. Uh, if we go to map mode. Riddle the Hollow. Hollow's Lantern. Oh, okay, so there is actually something to discover there. So we do have to go back there at some point. I'll try squeeze that in at some point. Right. Now I guess we wait. Let's go see how close we are to um, the 40 degrees. So we're at, currently at 14, 15. I guess we wait. It's one of those things, I guess, that I keep forgetting that the game locks things behind time. And I'm still frustrated with myself for not realising that. Oh, I've realised it, but I forgot. I definitely forgot towards the end of the series. And I'm still not quite recovered from the series. Someone suggested having some time off before I do the DLC to kind of ruminate, to kind of go over everything that we went, that we discovered. And I could. I could. But I have that itch. I need to explore. I need to know more. I don't even know if it's going to be related to anything that's happened so far. I'm guessing it will be. I just, there's there's nothing else mentioned. There's nothing else mentioned by the Nomai. Nothing else mentioned by us other than this spec. It's unknown. It's entirely unknown. Which concerns me because the Nomai were very, very observant. But maybe they were so... Ship. Ship. Come on, ship. There's a thing to explore. Um, what are you? And why do I feel a bit sick looking at this? Like, this is genuinely making me feel uneasy. No. No, thank you. This is not no my. This is not no my at all. This is something else. This is something darker. Where am I? I've got nothing. There's nothing. This is wrong. This is...
Okay, you're a puzzle. Okay, I can do puzzles. Why? This is wood. Why is there wood? Why is there wood? Oh, hell no. <laughs> okay. No words. Where? Where am I? What is this place? I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not this. Some tall fellas live here. I'm not sure if I'm fond of that face. Especially it's a bit blurry. It's giving me kind of like Dark Souls vibes. So I can see the system is still out there. That's interesting. They're using a lot of... A lot of light. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Do I need... I need a thing. This is missing something. Slide reel. Ooh! It's like one of those, I can't remember the name of it now. Ha! Ah. Right, so. I don't know what that is. That planet isn't even vaguely familiar. I'm gonna have to see this bit by bit, I think. That is familiar. That's us. That's also us. I, I don't know what I'm really meant to be doing here. That's also us, right. There's definitely... Some weird images on there. Some images that I haven't maybe seen. There's an image missing there. Why would there be a missing image? Let's go. Let's go backwards. No. I, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to presume I don't know enough yet. I'm going to presume I'm missing a vital piece of the puzzle. There's more than one. Oh, wait. So there's multiple slide reels. Okay. I don't know what these do. I'm guessing there should, there should be some kind of like... 
Some kind of light source. Surely I can't just stand there flashing my light at it. There's got to be a light source somewhere nearby. Especially if this culture is so light based. They're all, they're all massive. Oh, they're all massive. Right. I'm going to keep exploring because we're still in this solar system, right? So that means the sun can still explode. That means I'm still held accountable by a loop. This feels weird. I think this feels so weird because it's so new and unique. I can pick up lanterns. Owl men. And or our ladies or thems. Right, so there is that planet again. Right, let's go. I have my lantern. So I can hopefully go pop this over here. Right. And then I can actually use the slide reels properly. Am I correct? Oh. Yes. So there's four things on there, right? That's us and the eye. Which we've not actually been to yet. The eye called to them too? What the f- What the- I thought that was part of the soundtrack. I thought that was part of the soundtrack. I was enjoying the pretty pictures. Sweet Jesus Christ, that gave me a heart attack. Not only do I have the supernova to contend with, I have this... There was a dam? But why? I have so many questions. I... They saw the eye. They were called here by the eye. They're just like the Nomo, they came here, the I did call. But did it just maybe not call for very long? Because that looked like it was pretty, pretty sudden. You know? I like these little motorboats, these little motorboats make me happy. I... I thought this was going to be really simple. Well, not necessarily simple. I thought this was going to be... This is definitely a different feel. To the base game. And I am here for this. This is... I feel that need for wonder again. This is... <laughs> Oh. I'm speechless. This is... The music is so wondrous, so... Exciting. I could think of far worse places to an end loop than this. 
Full speed ahead. And into the abyss. This is this is their own vessel. It's just the vessel in another name. I was worried that maybe there wouldn't be too much to explore here when I saw it as well. I was thinking, oh, I mean, there's stuff to look at. But it's just another world, but this is... I need to know more. <laughs> I need to know so much more.